Welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this episode, episode 34, I'm going to talk about how lateral inhibition enhances visual edges. What am I talking about? Well, you're going to see right now. Here we have two rectangles. One is darker and the other is lighter. It's just a solid gray color over here and a solid darker gray, almost black color over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something that's quite fascinating. At least it's fascinating to me. And it illustrates how visual processing can lead to some interesting things. And to a certain extent, it shows that what you see is not always what's there. What am I talking about? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gray rectangle over here and I'm basically going to move it towards the other one. And we're going to see what happens. Remember, it's a solid gray color. The same color that I have over here is the same color that I have over here and throughout the entire rectangle. Now let's put them together and see if anything happens. So I'm just going to move the one at the right towards the one at the left. And now, hopefully you can see this, depending on the monitor that you're using, you may or may not be able to see this, but I'm guessing you will be able to see it. And what you're going to notice here is right here at the border, you're going to see that here is just a little lighter than over here. Okay, so before it looked like a solid gray object, and I really hope you see this because this is pointless. And over here, now we're seeing that it's darker here than it is over here. If you don't see it, look closely at the monitor and see if you see a little bit of a lighter edge here. Now, is that lighter edge there? No, it really isn't. But there's something that's happening inside your eye that's making it seem as if it's lighter over here and a little darker over here, you might be able to see that also. So lighter on this side and darker on this side, just a little bit. And what we're going to do is look at why that's the case. The main idea, though, is that the brain is set up to enhance visual edges so that you can see the edges more clearly. I find this to be very fascinating because to me it illustrates that maybe what we see might not actually be what is there. And I don't know how much that extends into everyday life, but uh, it's an interesting concept nonetheless. Now let's look at the cells that we have in the retina. And we looked at this already. We said that here we have the rods. And this would be a cone. We said that here we have a horizontal cell, and here we have ganglion cells, and we also have amacrine cells. And this is just a review of an earlier episode. The cell that I'm most concerned with now, in terms of this process, are the horizontal cells. And you can see here we have a number of rods and we have a cone and this horizontal cell goes laterally and it connects to multiple rods and even connects to some of the cones. This is where the processing that enhances those visual edges starts. So it's happening in the retina. This entire thing is in the retina. And what happens is, if it's getting a lot of intense stimulation from a group of rods over here, that causes this horizontal cell to inhibit some of the other cells so that you do not get as much stimulation from those receptors that are not stimulated as intensely as these over here. So we have a strong stimulation coming via these rods or these receptor cells, and that's causing inhibition of some of the cells that are not being stimulated as much. This process is called lateral inhibition. And to me, it's a very fascinating concept showing that strong activity over here can inhibit activity in another area. 
And that's all I want to cover in this episode. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below and I'll be happy to take a look at them and maybe even answer the questions that you might have. That's all for now and I'll see you in the next video.